Okay, in the next few videos I'll be concentrating on strategy games. So I remember a long time ago when it came out I was really interested in uh, Age of Mythology, the Age of Empire series. So, And these games contain a lot of complex um, game functions like the villagers walking around particular objects to get to a particular point the uh, destruction of objects that go in stages and then destroy themselves and controlling vi villagers and pointing and clicking to enemies and stuff so these games are really complex you could argue they're more complex than I don't know RTS I mean FPS games sorry so I'm going to explore a few of the uh, functionalities in these games so the first thing is the destruction of the houses so I want to start off with something simple guys so I've made a simple scene and this is a house and I've just basically created rectangles and stuff and uh, triangles and a little chimney so this house if I go over to the script has a health uh, variable so house health is public so is a bunch of other stuff I'll get through that in a minute so the house health is just a float which is 100 simple enough I've created a little GUI interface so there's a button okay I'm just going to run the game for you guys Alright, there's a button here, it says damage house, so let's pretend our army or whatever is going to attack this house, and every time we attack the, hou attack the house, sorry, the damage goes down 10 points, so this is uh, a, a placeholder for our enemies attacking the house, let's just say that. Alright, so how do we do that? Well, we just create a button here, using the GUI button and a new rectangle, okay, it's called damage house, and when we click it, the house minus is 10 uh from its value. Alright guys, simple as that. If a house health is less than zero or equal to zero, just stick it at zero. Don't let it go below zero because nothing will happen. Um, and then we create the label itself. Now we cast it as a string. It's a string variable. House damage, house health. Alright, so we just place the health in a string and then place it in another label below the button. Alright guys, simple as that. On the update function, we test for a range of things. Now, in RTS games, uh, objects go through different states. So this is the first state of the house. It's you can say it's brand new. It's got no damage to it. When we get about halfway through, there's a bit of damage, some cracks, and when the health is at zero, the whole thing collapses. So how do we do that? Well, I've created different methods. This one's phase one, phase two, and phase three. And each of these objects have rigid bodies. I mean, this is the simplest way I could demonstrate this. And uh, when the health gets to to a uh, particular value, these um, methods are called. All right, guys, and we store these boolean values to test whether they've already been uh, been called, because we don't want it to happen again and again. So once this, for example, once house destroy one is called, uh, destroy one is true, so it won't happen again. All right, guys. So just want to call these methods once, and when these methods are called, some of the game objects rigid bodies or at use, uh, gravity sorry is activated so they're going to fall to the ground and you can do anything in here we can do we can activate particle effects change some animations you know guys sound effects anything so these methods are a really good way to store different kind of uh, phases for your house so let's just save this and see what happens so the house damage is a hundred the house health, I should have called that house health, sorry guys, so 90, 80 when we get to 70, the, the door kind of wobbles and falls over this is phase one let's just wait for that to fall over <laughs> um, this appears into the ground 60, 50 when it gets to 30, the uh, roof sides fall off Okay. phase two and phase three when it's at zero the whole thing collapses, all right, guys. So, and uh, it's relatively simple. You might want to do something about that spasm control there, but um, that's generally how things work in RTS games. So, a bunch of enemies will be attacking this and taking off a bit of health every time. When the health gets to certain uh, thresholds or certain phases, you can call methods, and these methods can handle any logic or any, you know, any chain of. Uh, 
methods that you want to call to affect the house it can be some really nice effects but I've just used the use gravity property in the rigid body but that's a quick way of doing things so anyway that's how we do the destruction of objects in an RTS game or strategy game in the next few videos we'll explore a bit more go into a bit more detail so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video